All right, so um, let's let's jump back in if everybody's ready, and if y'all could roll your dice to do a little history check. Oh, you roll the one. You know what I'm saying? I gotta find I, my dice. At twenty. I want to be the DM again. I don't know what it is about me being the DM that makes Chowder roll like garbage. Well, he rolled a nat 20, so. Well, yeah. I That's what I'm saying, is I'm you know not why? the DM now, and he rolled a nat 20, and I rolled <gasps> a goddamn two. I'm a, I'm okay, a, I rolled a nat I'm a one. GM of the people. Oh, that's cool, never why. mind. That's, that's why everybody feels so confident mm-hmm. with their rolls, and therefore get better rolls. It w- Which one wins in a, a crit fail and a, a nat 20? So I'm going to say Chatter can choose. Yeah, but, I think that's uh, more fun. <laughs> that's more fun. Whatever is most fun is what Whatever we go with. Whatever gets Matt the biggest out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't decide, so I'm just going to roll the dice Hell on yeah. it. yeah. There's still a I'm chance. sick and he rolled a nat one. If this lands on me, and you picked me to do it like the last two times. So I'll be, I will, I will submit protests. How, do we have a form for that? We could barely keep up with anything else. Is Chatter really quiet for everybody else? Matt, yes, you will be doing the history check. What a surprise. My uh, microphone is in a different position, so I guess I should be getting closer to it. Experimenting yep. in different positions never hurt anyone. Not well, ever. Not it, it actually, it no. actually could could hurt people. I mean, you know, if you don't That's true. stretch. All right, Matt, you do the recap. I'm uh, going to go stretch for whatever you guys are about to do to me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what we were saying about uh, <laughs> emotional duress? What part uh, are you going to be stretching there, Colin? I mean, where are you putting the dice? His d. De- uh, Previously <laughs> on Dice Populi, <laughs> I'm taking control now. Um <laughs> Yes, Daddy. Actually, that's not okay. really what happened because I gave control to Colin and then Colin was like, hey, guess what? Bottle Brew isn't the real captain of the ship here. We're going to go. I'm going to just offload everything to Dennis. Lo and behold, we end up going to it's it's Feldrum, right? Yes. Yes. The island of Feldrum. We're like fell dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Am I well, right? Fucking okay. got him. <laughs> there was a wall, like the the biggest wall you'd ever seen, a, a great, great wall. <laughs> there was a lot of debate on how to get over said wall. So um, we used magic because, duh. We decided to try to meet up with the person who we met last time. Tamara. Tamara. Yes. Thank you. I'm writing that down. I'm not actually writing that down. I'll remember that. We run into a familiar and probably not very happy face uh, from the Isle of Stoneholm. Yes. Uh, Her Majesty. Not Tamara. Sir Allison Ricard. Sir. Not Sir. Her Majesty. Majesty. It is is Sir. Is it Sir? Is is she a Sir? Her Her Majesty. The Stone Her Majesty. Majesty. Yeah, that is. That's a Sir. That's a okay. sir. All day, every day, twice on Sunday is all I'm saying. Okay. All right. All right. Whatever, whatever Pat says goes. Pat, you're being very assertive. Mm-hmm. And more like assertive. Uh, it's um, assertive. And then, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. Uh, she gave fire. us a look. She hates us. And oh, that is that. That well, is not all. That, that is happened. not all. What that happened. happened after that? Yeah. One big thing happened to you. Your character specifically. Specifically <gasps> involving magic of oh, the wild variety. Yeah, I forgot. I blocked that part out. Um, <laughs> Um, so then, I'm glad like, to see the trauma transcends the role. You play. made me uh, roll a trauma wild magic, and it made me cast magic missile. Which... Can we reskin it as wild trauma? <laughs> wild, and trauma. then I started blasting. Yeah. Which which is funny because it, if listeners remember, that was the spell that I cast when uh, when we were fighting the the beasts back on Stoneholm. And that's the spell that triggered the wild magic surge. You see, time is a flat circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember the spell being described as like shadowy tendrils running oh, along. Oh, that was the, the effect. Like, I cast magic missile, but then the wild magic surge was like the uh the, the necrotic absorbing the yeah. life force of like a hundred different civilians around me and they just dropped dead. Yeah, but that but that wild magic surge just didn't happen to you. The tower, the the Feldrum's fancy little Seraphina tower, it also pulsed with arcane energy. Wild magic surged through it, and out from it came three gigantic darts in this case. One of them is approaching you, the other two is approaching probably the general location of where the ship is, and another one, a mystery location. Shit. <laughs> Does everybody feel filled in and ready to play? Yeah, is filled in the description that you want to use after our little pre-banter? 
we're gonna plop into this moment basically directly. Oh, and just I'm gonna Matt, just for your information, if you keep that wild magic surge table just in a nearby spot, you've gotten a lot of those tides of chaos over the last couple of years, and I'm going to try and zero them out if possible during this adventure. <laughs> so just just keep those handy. Um, Fuck. So this is immediately after that. Maeve, you had just accidentally cast Magic Missile at Her Majesty the Stone Lord Allison Ricard. The rest of you notice this in terror, but also notice a giant flash of light as several uh, rocket-sized darts uh, shoot from Feldrum Tower. Uh, what would you all like to do in this brief moment before utter chaos strikes? I'd like to cast the shield spell because that just completely negates the magic missile spell. <laughs> uh, for you, <laughs> yeah. It. For me, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die for cover. So, Allison Ricard, uh, taking a lesson from you, you, like, your fingers barely have, like, stopped sizzling from the arcane energy of those magic missiles, and you just kind of, like, put a shield on yourself. She does the same thing reflexively as three of those darts just kind of evaporate over its surface. I'm gonna need everybody but Maeve, I suppose, in this moment, to make dexterity saving throws as you try to avoid this arcane explosion. It's too big, probably, for a singular target. It's going to, like, smash this area. Point of order. Yes. You said that one is heading for the ship. Bottle Brew did say he was going to... And that's why I'm saying that everyone but Maeve has okay, to Okay, cool, roll yeah, because Bottle Brew is, is currently looking for a dock. Yeah, okay, <clears throat> cool. I will roll a save. Yeah. Uh, I got a 10. All right, it's not enough. Is there any possibility of shielding this? If you cast 18. shield, yes, it would stop the it would stop the energy from roasting your flesh. I got eighteen altogether. Eighteen, it's, it's fine. <clears throat> I yep. will cast shield. By the way, all right, you're casting shields. Uh, just like you see, like you keep on dot. <laughs> Locke is like actively trying to like run away, but it keeps on tracking him like a little bit. So he runs like <laughs> he, he can realize imagine, it's going to be a direct. I imagine hit. I like I like start running backwards, and then like I try to step to the side, and it starts to track me, yeah. and I step to the other side, and it goes back. And I'm like, <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> uh, you're about to walk into someone in public, and you yeah, both yeah, keep yeah. stepping exactly. to the same direction. Oh no! Excuse. Oh no! Uh, yeah, excuse. Exactly. Oh, sorry. Except, oh, let me just scoot right by you. Okay. Except yeah. this one ends with death. What is Bottle Brew's uh, dexterity saving throw here? How's a nine hit you? Not well. It's considering a ten was not a good one, I'm assuming All right, also so. bad. <laughs> Am I rolling for the boat, maybe? The, the, the damage won't be yeah. terrible to the boat, but there is going to be yeah, no, some the, damage. The boat has the like boat. 500 hit points. It's, it's fine. Well, this is a giant magic missile, so. All right. <laughs> Bottle Brew takes 30 points of damage. <laughs> I want you to describe this moment, Colin. How does this moment happen to Bottle Brew? <laughs> All right, so just to just to enjoy the the DM powers for but a moment, the the, the <laughs> liberty is is winding out of the strange cliffy alcove and down uh, the southern shores of Feldrum as the ground sort of tapers down, and he sees a dock maybe a few miles in the distance, or it is called out by someone on the ship. He takes a deep, sweet breath of ocean air in the first moment of peace he's had in a few days, maybe even a few months, <laughs> and he's about to say, Dennis, I kind of miss the quiet moments here on the cover. And then just fucking absolute chaos as the poop deck is hit, and Bottle Brew takes one straight to the face, and everyone around him is also probably injured. I'm gonna say for pure hilarity and just to get you, just to get you in this action, it like launches you off the ship towards town. <laughs> like the explosion, like rocks you back into the narrative. I'm not gonna let you just escape like a little wily dog. Uh, I mean, if, if you want to say that this, like, because we're by the shore, if you want to say that this lands me uh, on the shore, yeah, like yeah, Bottle Brew will absolutely start making his way to town. Uh, yeah, that happens. I just don't want. I just don't. I, you know, if you're gonna be, I just want you in the narrative so we can all be narrative buddies together. Yeah, I was fully intending to show up. Did not expect. You you to literally catapult me into the action but, but thank yeah. you also don't forget 30 points of damage uh, i didn't just a casual 10 d4 uh so everything around uh, the explosion point in town um for the most part there wasn't a ton of people around there was a handful and they were all staring but they were on the periphery and basically once they saw mave a great deal of them kind of you know gave a wide berth um, Allison Ricard was by far the closest one. She was also in the blast radius, but she did cast shield. 
Um, this place is still like sizzling. There is a faint greenish bluish hue to everything as this magical energy is still fading. Can I have everybody make perception checks, please? 15. 15. <laughs> 11. 11. Uh, can I just give you my passive perception? No, nah, <laughs> just give me what you roll, please. Uh, that's a 10. Uh, and uh, bottle, you're not bottle butt is not there, but I wouldn't mind getting a. He can he can also do a percept. Uh, yeah, I'll say that as uh, as bottle brew gestures to the ship, telling them to to get away from danger. Uh, he rolls a. Tw- uh, I've rolled a twelve, and he quickly uh, tries to gather himself and observes the area around him. Bottle brew, there's not. You're not going to get the same scene, but uh, I'll explain what you all see collectively. Mm-hmm. You all see what I described. The a- area is still sizzling. You see probably about a half a dozen people, basically with like terrified looks on their face, like frantically trying to get into whatever building or shelter is closest. As this, you know, a bomb basically just went off. Um, your attention is drawn to the sky specifically towards the area of the tower and what was once a pretty I don't know like brutalist piece of stone and metal that rises high above um, Feldrum you can see cracks have begun to form into its facade and at the very peak where there was occasionally smoke maybe at one point you know some light of some kind you see what looks to be a crackling storm of purple energy and you see a great tear, it looks like, beginning to like form in what seems to be reality. I mean, with your perception checks, you can't quite see into it, but you can see that there is like an obvious like split of something, whether it's to another dimension or to just uh, some form of like black seeping energy or something like that. You, all you see is black. Um, and there's what looks to be an electrical storm. Does this seem reminiscent of the, I guess, the split fractured realities from Arianor? Like a piece. Like a, there is some, there is some hint of recognition at that. It's not identical, but it's similar. Okay. I'm gonna peek out from like the cover I just took and look around and be like, "Babe, we just dealt with a split timeline already. I don't want to do that again. It was so confusing." Uh... Oh my god, they've come to finish the job. Everybody run! Run every- This is Allison Ricard. Run! And she kind of like jerks, she not jerks, but dips out of there and begins to like, cup still in hand, like beginning to kind of like very sloppily jog down an alleyway. Sloppy jogging. Fin- fin- finish the job. Galt, what did you do last time? I didn't do a thing last time. But he takes like, his eyes are like locked on that tear. He's like, I... I must go to it. It's it calls. What? And he begins to like take steps forward. I'm gonna just grab my shoulder, like, hey man, you you, you can't just walk walk away into the a Terran reality that generally isn't healthy for people. You can also tell that Colt's like a little messed up. He definitely tanked some of that damage. Um, he did not roll well. Colt, you're being super toxic right now. No, I've. I've seen this before a long time God, ago. God, God, let's let's deal with the concussion first, all right? He he grabs you, he's like, that- I saw it when I killed my father. I've seen this before. We must go. We must go to it. To what? How much has Colt shared of that story with the people? I know he likes to talk about himself, but like, do you think that he would have told anybody? Not a bit. He's not been quiet about the fact that he killed his father, but he has not described yeah. how and what the whole premise of it was. The the horrifying ritual. So he he's he can't take his eyes off of it. And Auge, at this point, it just appears and begins like basically flying up to the rift. We must go. It's growing. Um Babe, what did you do to the guy? He's weirder than usual. Uh um, where's Allison Ricard going? Oh, she running. She's running down an alley, just away, <laughs> just away from your direction. I think Maeve would go after her. Are you gonna go after? Her? Okay. I, I I gotta I gotta fit since like g- save g- them. G- I guys, guys, we, I I'm, need I'm alone. to go. Fuck. You, you don't understand. Go, go, come on, bad. Be reasonable here. We can walk into the tear in reality later. I don't want to walk into the tear of reality. 
I want to close it. If it is not closed soon, terrible things will happen. You don't understand. Okay, okay, well, you should have led with that. I I, I don't want terrible things to happen. Okay, let's close this. Uh, he's going to start, like, I don't know who all is going with Call. I don't know if we want to split the party. Um, but Kalt is going Pat to... Pat doesn't want to split the party. I mean, but... you can imagine that Kalt is an NPC in this moment, so yeah, he's not actively yeah, yeah. part of the party. Um but Maeve darts down an alleyway, I guess, chasing after Her Majesty the Stone Lord, Allison Ricard. Um, and yep. what? And <laughs> Kalt starts to basically not quite run, but his version of jogging, <laughs> jogging, if you call, if you want, shamble, uh, shambling. That's great. He's shambling towards the tower. As as Maeve is running after Allison, she's going to call out, "Wait, wait! I'm sorry. It, it was an accident." Get the fuck away from me! I'm not I'm not great at running. Oh, no, that's right. I, All right, I can, um, let me go. I can help. I can help. Help! She kind of like doubles over. <laughs> help! How are you going to help me? You ruined everything. You ruined Stone Home. You ruined my life. You ruined everything. Um. Well. At least your brother didn't kill you. Oh, I forgot my brother. Yes, he didn't kill me. So you're welcome? What do you want, little girl? Um, I wanted to say sorry for, um, I guess ruining everything that I kind of touch. She kind of, her, her eyes narrow at you. Is this some kind of joke? Uh... It wasn't supposed to be, but... Are you trying to be, like, makes... sarcastic? No. I mean, if it makes you feel better, then I'll, I'll say yes, but <laughs> I, I didn't mean it to be sarcastic. Why are you even here? What do you want? Was that her? Yes. Wow. We're here to look for our friend, Tamara. You wouldn't happen to know... Hey, actually, funny thing. Why are you here? We all came here after Stoneholm's fall. Uh huh. Can, um, can I ask? Is is this just like a, a flourish of Ryan, or is Maeve hearing like an unnatural shift in this person's timbre? There are two different voices coming. For, I I mean, you guys aren't necessarily there. I don't know if you guys followed her. No, no I don't think. I think it's just Maeve. But like, I want to make sure that like we're keying into whether this is an in-game distinction that needs to be made. At least to Maeve at this point, because I don't want to necessarily say for everybody, there are two distinct voices coming out of Alice and Ricard's mouth. Cool. Um, Roll it. Insight. Insight. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, that is a. 15 plus 5, 20. You know, that voice does sound kind of familiar. Um, you know, <laughs> the the brother had that kind of same voice yeah. after the, you know, he did the thing to himself. A bit of a monstrous voice. And it, it's difficult to say whether you are hearing it as, like, her actually saying it or something that you're just picking up. Picking up what I'm putting down. Maeve is gonna squint real closely at uh, them. So, like, did, did anything else happen after we left? You seem a little hoarse there. Um, <laughs> if you know what I mean, and she'll wink. I, 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 I don't know what you mean. My voice is perfectly fine. I appreciate the I guess the, uh, the attention to detail. You know, I am not a great runner. Maybe I'm a little hoarse because of that. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. There's like a lot of alarms going off in her head, but um, we will. We will. We will. Most of which we just will. accidentally nuked the the, the collection of refugees. Uh, baby steps. You know, redemption comes at a price. <laughs> All right. So, what is the? What are the rest of you doing? I'd say Bottle Brew probably snagged a horse from a farm and is hightailing it to the fucking death cloud over the tower. So he'll be there in a few minutes. I I'm going to say it is like the teeniest little mini horse ever. It's like the equivalent of like walking. Uh, no. Sir, sir, <laughs> could you please spare me your <laughs> finest, strongest horse? I need to make it to that cloud right away. <laughs> it's like it's got his, my, his legs are moving a mile a minute. <laughs> He's riding a little Sebastian from yes, Parks and Rec. Yes, his <laughs> butt so big. Um, I'll say within the I next... I suppose one. this will have to do. Hiya! The, the magic seems to fade. 
from this uh, from this little area as everything is calmed down. People are beginning to poke their heads out, trying to figure out what. Uh, Cult is well on his way to the tower. What is everybody else doing? Uh, I I po- tell Locke. Uh, I think you should go with Maeve. I'll make sure Cult doesn't do Cult stuff. Uh, cult stuff is the episode title. <laughs> cult stuff. <laughs> You're you're gonna try and catch up with Call. Bottle Brew is a little Sebastianing to the town as fast as he can. He's probably a ways out, but no, he's he's on his way. He'll be there. Locke is is going like looking at the tower and looking at Maeve and looking at the tower and looking at Maeve and be like, "Go with Maeve." Why can't everybody just stay in the same fucking place, please, God? And then I just go after Maeve. Maeve. All right, you follow Maeve. Locke is losing his dad mind at every fucking turn here. Not daddy, okay? Just dad. Daddy. All right, Locke, we'll say that you come into the scene right about now. Um, you see Allison Ricard, you know, kind of slooped over, heavy breathing, like hair's a mess, and Maeve seeming very meek and, like, apologetic. Um, okay. How, how do you how do you enter the scene thusly? What's what's going on over here? Yeah, you know, just your f- little, f- little compatriot just trying, I guess, to apologize for ruining my life and everything that I've ever loved and done and had and lost. Um, yeah, she also sounds funny. Um, just, yeah, it, it's it's weird. She seems I'm, to be focused. Like, I am a little, you know, been drinking and I ran maybe a little hoarse. Uh, but, you know, it's it's fine. I'm, I'm fine. You know, Maeve, it's, it's not really a nice thing to, to apologize to somebody and at the same time poke poke fun at them and it, it kind of diminishes the apology you get you get what i'm saying here it's, it's not making fun it wasn't intended to hurt it was just stating a fact <laughs> <laughs> well that's you know maybe i will say that my voice i'm sorry that my voice does not appeal to you little girl maybe you're being pretty toxic right now <laughs> fuck you <laughs> Am I hearing a difference? Because so far you haven't changed your voice. You're not hearing anything different. Uh, well, I guess, yes, we are sorry that your life is ruined, but, like, is it really our fault? I mean, just ten seconds ago she tried to kill me with <laughs> magic missile. What Are she we even didn't... having this conversation? She did not do that on purpose. How, sh- how would oh, she oh, have known? Oh, no, yeah, she didn't do it on purpose. She just looked at me, and then her hand raised... And then three magical bolts uh, tried to go for my eye sockets. No, yes, no, you're, you're right. It was she must have sneezed first. Um, I don't, I don't think I re- actually raised my hand. It just, happened, or, you know, yeah. it just happened or whatever. Yeah. She might be, yeah, you know, yeah. she's, you know, filling the gaps in her own memory, or I'm just uh-huh. ad libbing. <laughs> Allergies <laughs> yeah. are pretty crazy right now. So then, what exactly did happen then? Not to mention the giant explosion that happened afterwards. I'm sure that was none of your doing. Well, not I. I don't know. But we our... just got here. What? Like how? Yes, how does she that's have... quite. Th- that's quite fair. You know, I was drinking in a bar, and I was having a great time trying to forget everything. Then I walk outside, you know, take it a fresh air, and maybe beg for some change. And then I literally, you just literally got here, and then. Two separate attempts were made on my life. It's it's like we're it's like we're months past when you first just happened to come to my island. Okay, well, I I think I said my bit. Um, it, you can choose to save yourself or not. That that's up to you. I'm gonna go save somebody who actually might matter a little more. Whoa! <laughs> she takes like a long swig from whatever's left of her cup and just like throws it at the ground and turns her back. And begins to walk away. Maybe you're being pretty toxic right now. Mm, toxic, maybe. Colin, you're like halfway across the map. I'll say at <laughs> <Yeah>. this point. <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> you guys hear the, the clapping of a horse as Bobby arrives, but we are going to shoot back to They're Jetta. Pony. <laughs> um, what is Jetta doing? You know, I'm like running up to uh, call it like, hey, man, well, so what's exactly the plan? How do we. There is uh, no plan, it is to go and see what be, can be done and hope that we can do something. Well, that that inspires confidence. Um, Jeddah, when we get in there, if, if you are going to follow me to the summit, avert your gaze from the tear. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll do You do just... not know what you will see. I leave it to you. If you feel like you're strong enough to see what's on the other side, I will not stop you. But there is no guarantee of your safety. Galt, you're scaring me a little, man. He grabs you. And by good. little, I mean 
good. No, Jake. you should be scared. This is not good. Comprende? C- C- do not look in. Do not look into it. Good. We do we get like a sewing needle or? He looks at you with like a what? I mean, we gotta we gotta like. Oh, are you, you making tear a, there? You're making a fabric joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> he, like, just continues to walk up. I make quips when I'm panicking! Uh, after maybe five minutes of... God, I don't know exactly the makeup of this tower, but I doubt there's an elevator. Um, you make it to the top. Um, there are three people that you would not recognize, Jetta. Um, Cult would recognize two of them, but they are all kind of currently staring at the tear. Staring. Good God. A virtual gaze! And he kind of runs over and pushes them over. Uh, I would like to say that I am looking at the ground and not at the dare, because... Take, take care of them, Jeddah. Take care of them. They're, hopefully they're okay. Hopefully it was just a glance. All right. Uh, I, uh, sc- I scoot over to whoever's closest to me and just give them a good slap in the face, like, snap out of it. So the first one that you see is a relatively older-looking man. Looks pretty, I mean, dressed in a priest robes. Oh, no. Um, got a beard, gray hair, looks very elderly and fatherly, Aww. but he, he seems to be alive, but his eyes are just like cold stone open. Um, cold stone creamery, cold stone, stone cold Steve Austin, if you will. <laughs> um, but they, they're just, they're just locked open. Stone cold Steve cream. His eyes aren't even twitching. <laughs> um, no. you shake him for a couple of seconds and like, it seems like the air comes back into his body. He gets to take a deep breath. Oh, what happened? All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just, a new- it was something. There's the the towers. <laughs> Where's the first, first thing I need you to uh, look at the ground. Do not look at or, whatever that is. The, the look things, at the ground. I don't. But it, yes, I just, just looked for but a moment, and I do not know if I'm well. It's I've seen. I saw. I don't know what I saw. It's 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 beautiful in a way. It's a hard time. I'm, I'm having a difficulty. And I, can't, I can't look. I can't, I can't look again. Uh, Dasan, Dasan. And he shakes Dasan. Yes! 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 Fucking love Dasan. I've got to try and summon her voice again. She was... Uh, Dasani. Uh, uh, so, yes. Uh, <laughs> she had cool mom energy. Uh, uh, Father Seawin. F- Father Seawin. Yes. Uh, oh, are you doing all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what that... What happened? We just... What happened? Are you okay, Father Seawin? Uh, Darrow, are, are you fine? Uh, the other, the other uh, person rouses next to them. Their backs are all kind of turned to the tear at this moment. Cult, um, his hands are like over the tear. He's, he seems to be almost like raised, like the arms raised high over his. They're like touching, and you can see like little sparks of magic energy flowing from his fingers. Do not look back upon the tear. If you value your sanity, you will get far from here and do it soon. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, see, seeing what happened to those people, that seems like the best course of action. Uh, Jetta, I would like you. You know, curiosity gets the best of us all. Oh, yeah. I would like you to make a... <laughs> a wisdom saving throw. Let's do this. That's a five. There's just that, like... You know, there's just that, it's just, it's almost, like, reflexive as you are, like, grabbing these people. Your eye just flicks for a second, and you are just caught in it. And it, it, at first, it's, it's just like this black, it's like this reflective black surface. Like, there's nothing there. Like, cult's lying, there's nothing there. It's not that big of a deal. But you find that your eyes can't, like, become unstuck, and you're not sure... If like a second has passed or like an hour, if if Jeddah could see anything that she wanted just for a second or for an hour or for a minute, whatever, what would she want to see? What is the most enticing thing that like speaks to her on a core spiritual level? Gabagool. <laughs> no, what what she sees is an endless horizon. To her back, a nice, quaint little village. Nothing's wrong. No people, like, preparing for a fight. And uh, she's got, like, a backpack on, or ready to go off and see everything and anything. And just uh, with the with the knowledge that, like, whenever she wants, she can just go back to her, to her family and just have a nice dinner. You're on this 
like beautiful hill looking out on the horizon, you know, your backpacks on and you're just, you felt like you've just risen to the top of it and you're about to, you know, take, you know, take the grade down. And in front of you, you see what looks to be almost like a little girl. She's got pale skin, like got kind of furrows underneath her eyes, like pockets underneath her eyes. She's got, I believe has like a, um, like brown hair. You never met this person. Hey there, kid. Uh, uh, You ain't looked so hot. I always wanted to go on an adventure. I made so many wishes that I could go out and just like see the world and get away from here. I'm glad that I'm not the only one. And then this moment is broken um, as you see like your eyes like shake back into focus and Kalt is shaking you. Do not look, Jedi. Do not look. Oh, whoa, you must whoa, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You must go. Take them. Take them now. Right, right, right. Uh, j- j- how how long have I been out? Uh, minutes. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'll do what I can. And he slams his staff like the, this the pointy part down into the ground, and he begins to like like siphon energy from it, and begins to kind of like putting his hands out. And he seems to be with great effort and intensity trying to I mean, slow the tear. But even with his magic and his force. You can see that it is ever but slowly growing with every passing second. It's just, it's only a matter of time before it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, uh, I, I uh, look to the other people like, well, you heard the guy. Get the hell out of Dodge. Go. And then I uh, turn to Colt and I'm like, is there anything I can do to help, man? Like, I don't wh- know. You need, to, you need to find out what happened. Find Maeve. Figure out what her connection is to this. I don't know how long I can slow. It's, it's, it's I'm, it's very strong. All right, uh, ro- ro- Roger that, Roger that, and uh, and I start like bolting to like the last place I saw like Maeve running off to. Like, um, Ryan, can <clears throat> I say that this is much more enthralling and creative a way to get Cult out of the story than just staying on the boat? Uh, this is fantastic, and I was not <laughs> expecting it. I was wondering what you're going to do call with Colt, and I think this is great. I mean, I had fun with him being on the boat. He got to eat people. That was just my way of <laughs> getting to eat people. Jetta, you, you take the three people with you. Um, so just for just for everybody so they have an idea of what these people look like, uh, Father Seawin, very much like from a movie, cat, like old like Catholic priest, you know, gray hair, kind of got a long gray beard, very fatherly looking, very very kind looking face, dark robes with a lot of gold filigree, average height, you know, kind of got tan skin. Dasan Vea, they have a very business-like exterior, very kind of hard cut lined face, long hair kind of put into a, a bit of a ponytail, very business clothes, like, you know, the you know medieval equivalent of business clothes, so kind of like robes and things like that. The other, what you could probably assume to be a cleric, because uh, he is wearing similar robes, but different colored. They seem to be white with kind of like this brass filigree, almost. They look to be young, kind of olive skin, um, dark hair, much younger than Father C. When you could, maybe this, you know, probably just got out of whatever school clerics go to to become, you know, like church clerics. Um, but they they follow you down, and uh, we're gonna go back to as as you kind of clear the tower. Um, we're gonna go back to a lock and Maeve. What are y'all up to? And I guess uh, Bubble Bubble Butt is back in the works. Bottle Brew is is slowly uh, he's trotting up on his tiny horse, and I bet like Bottle Brew is not a small guy, but on this tiny horse, I imagine his head is probably like no higher than Locks. This <laughs> horse is so small. And he like he he trots up at eye level, and he says, "All right, I was about to ask what's going on with the tower, but did did I just pass the 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 Lord of Stoneholm? What in the God's green earth are they doing here?" Um. So did we ever tell you about before we met you? Ah, uh, yes. I suppose I had. Uh, I I had connected those dots. A birdie told me a thing or two about your ventures, so. At least they landed somewhere. I must say that on top of the horrible stories I've heard from them, you cost me a, a quite a, a valuable client here in the lands. And he uh, steps off the horse and pats it away. <laughs> I do say that um, that purple monstrosity of there is probably more urgent to address. Who is your client? Uh, well, I mean, we've done 
trade throughout the Badlands for decades. I, I dealt with the markets of Stoneholm quite often. So oh. we had a we had a business relationship with them, and uh, I have to say she's not looking quite as regal as last I saw her. Um, yeah. Okay, let's um, let's go save another island. Mm, yes. Let's oh, I did use the island. word urgent to describe what was happening, and you seem pretty lackadaisical. I feel like that's going to kill everybody. We should probably find out what's going on. Whatever it is, it attacked the Liberty. So, uh, let's get on it. Maeve looks at Locke like, what? I don't know. I'm generally, like, both Colin and Bottle Brew are kind of taken aback by the lack of urgency at this very threatening situation. <laughs> Me at my second rodeo. This yeah. isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't my first uh, town crisis. It's just, I f- every time we rush into a situation... We end up making things worse before they get better. So what if we, like, try to go slow this time and learn a little bit more before we do it? Maybe we just start making things better from the get-go. You described, Ryan, that to Cult and Jetta, the thing seemed to be growing. Cult said it was growing. Mm -hmm. Are we observing that growth from here or no? I'll say that it does seem a little bigger than when you first saw it. Hard to um, say how much bigger. It, uh, yeah. You also do see at this you, at this point you uh, you would see a figure, probably the cult sized, doing something magical to it. Okay, uh, Bottle Brew is uh, w- when Lock says that we should slow down. <laughs> uh, Bottle Brew sort of like. Uh, He, like, grits his teeth, and he says, Listen, I have a crew that is currently under attack from whatever is going on up there, not to mention this ocean of innocent people surrounding us. You take your time and think. I'm going to figure out who that is up there, what they're doing, and how the hell to save everybody. And Bottle Brew starts running towards the tower. We should set up a raffle! (laughs) (laughs) Can, Can this be the part where I come in, like, as they're talking about taking their time and stuff and I'm yeah uh, yeah if, if bottle brew clocks you he will absolutely start running towards you yeah you arrive with father seawind to sanvea and the a second cleric hey, 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 hey. there you are oh okay great no we, we we got no time we got to rush the rush now okay like uh uh called called all right there it is there's some of the energy let's go let's like, go called, called, God called damn it. <sighs> I, I, I don't really know what he's doing but like he is like holding back that that terror right now uh he tells me wait that's freaky deep boy up there yeah no surprise the heck out of me too he, but uh, oh, but, uh anyways he has a name you know yeah when he learns mine i'll learn his in the distance here it's called <laughs> <laughs> you did learn yours your bottle butt i, I like calling your <laughs> no name response. as much okay. as the next guy but like man what exactly did you do what is your connection to this we gotta figure it out. Why is everybody blaming me for this? Make a wild magic roll, Maeve. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. Wild magic sure has a good sense of comedic timing. It always does. Uh, I rolled a 76, so let me pull that up. That's the number of people that are about to die. <laughs> You immediately wipe the party. That's our show, folks. Today, I let the noise on the way out. Thank you. You glow with a bright light in a 30-foot radius for the next minute. Any <laughs> creature that ends its turn within five feet of you is blinded until the end of its next turn. <laughs> oh, fuck my May eyes! May begins to glow as the tower begins to glow. Also, um, as she's saying the words, why does everyone think it's my fault? Mm. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. She's getting very annoyed about this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you get like you're getting very frustrated and you kind of like, why is everybody think this is my fault? Uh, I don't know if you want to act that out, but you, you get your maybe I don't, anger. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your anger maybe gets a little. I don't, I don't want to speak for you, but that's how I'm seeing it in my mind. Like you just, the frustration leaks out and this is when you start to begin to glow. Does, is everybody is blinded or they need to roll for it? I didn't hear that part. If if we end our turn, yeah, within so, five so feet, I think they're just they're just blinded. Yeah, within five feet. All right, yeah. Hold so every- our horse. <laughs> <laughs> All of you begin to reflexively pull away as you are blinded by her glow, um, and the tower itself is glowing with a blinding light. Now, um, you can hear people exclaim and curse and kind of like put their hands over their faces as it. Basically, there's a 
a tower sized sun that is like frying everybody's <laughs> Insert eyeballs. SpongeBob, my eyes here. My eyes. <laughs> um, but it, it passes. I mean, basically, once they leave um, within five feet of uh, Mave, and they're not looking at the tower you get your vision back so it's it's over in like six seconds the blindness i would i would say yeah yeah, yeah. after hearing those words and experiencing this bottle brew is gonna rub his eyes look at the tower and look at mave and he's like listen lass i've got a lot of fondness and respect for you but you seem to be connected to this in one way or the other whether you mean it or not we need to figure that out uh... Okay, do we do we take her to the tower, or is that going to compound the issue? I don't know what the protocol for this. I think we need to get you a, as far away from this thing as we can until we can make sure everyone is safe. Well, I would normally, in situations like this, I'd go sit in the Liberty for a while until people, you know, pay attention to me. But even the Liberty isn't <laughs> safe. Maeve might be the one who has to stop this, so maybe we got to bring her to the thing? Oh, okay, we are an impasse here. Okay. Um well, I suppose there's uh there's there's no time to waste, right? You see like Father Seawin and Desan Vea and this third character kind of like the third character looks very confused and Desan Vea Desan and Father Seawin are both kind of like looking kind of sheepishly, like they're trying not to make eye contact with Maeve. Uh I should this is very strange. It's very obvious that there seems to be some connection to the tower. Ah, uh, the, the the girl's powers are quite mysterious. Um, how long have you all been on the island? Um, just a quick question, Ryan. Uh, I mean, Bottle Brew would obviously be familiar with Stoneholm. Would he know, uh, Desan or Father Seawin as, like, staples of that community? Yes, if he, if he had had any relation with Alice and Ricard, like, she was catered to specifically by Desan Vea. Like, Desan Vea was the face that handled all the day-to-day. Okay. Uh, Bottle Brew would know them very well. Okay, then, yeah, then in response, uh, Bottle Brew would sort of tip his hat to them and be like, I suppose I could ask you the same question, but I don't know that we're safe to converse here. Maeve, it is your decision what you'd like to do, but everybody else, we need to get away from this tower before it causes more harm. Or no, this uh... We're just, just curious. We, the Sarah, uh, we are fairly new to the island, but uh, the locals talk of a, a link to Serafena. Um, the the link seemed to be severed some week or two ago. Uh, have you been here this long, or is, are you fresh to the island? We, we just got here, man. What? Severed link. I took a lovely 20 minute ride across the countryside on one of your finest steeds. Interesting. That means he kind of looks over at the other cleric, Darrow. And it, they are not the cause of this. And maybe it is something. Maybe it's something that we did or something that happened when we came. Or I don't know. I'm going to tug at Mr. Luck's uh, sleeve. What, what is it? Um. Would you say it was like a week or two ago when um, you know who died? Uh, his travel time would have been like seven days on the dot. Yeah. We, yes, I, I I think so. Uh, yeah, it totally wasn't us. We just got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Maeve, it's great to see you again. Um, remind me who's speaking to me. Father, see you in. The guy that you got crucified on the doors of the church. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a dark time. Um, I hope you have been very well. And also with you. It's And with your spirit now, dumbass. <laughs> ah, they changed it to Trick Bottle Brew. <laughs> they changed it just <laughs> to Trick Bottle Brew. Um, hi, um... How's it hanging? I mean, h- how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's the most fucked up joke you've made this whole campaign. I've been doing quite well since our last meeting. Well, if there is uh, nothing, well, I we should I'm I'm going to go do a little research. Uh, uh cl- Cleric Darrow. Uh, uh well, uh, uh, if you nobody's met, uh, uh, this is Cleric Darrow. Uh, Darrow Rivas. Uh, he's, he's he is of the of the local town. He's quite knowledgeable, and he, I think he'd be a great help to you. I'm going to go find my books and do a little research. He kind of just like stumbles away. Um, Darrow. 
Yes. Do, do you know a girl named Tamara? Tamara. Why, yes, uh, she was not a frequent goer to my sermons, but she appeared quite often. Um, halfling, correct? A little mischievous. Yeah. Um, do, do you know where she is? I, in fact, do not. She's been gone for... I mean, a week or two? Uh, about a week or two, yes. Oh, oh no. my god. Okay, uh, alright, that's convenient. Quick, quick question. Can someone give me a physical description of Tamara real quick? Just... Uh, sh- She's a halfling. Pale, pale skin. Would you, would you? You could probably mistake her for like a a, a, a small girl as well, small, about that size. Small, okay, small girl. Uh, pale skin, brown hair. I legitimately do not remember. I, I I think so. I think that's how she was described. Correct. Did you Did you see her, Jenna? You know, it, it's it's a little hard to say. The circumstances were fucky, but uh. Yes, fucky. Hmm. But but like. Uh, when me and Colt were like getting the other guys uh, out of here, I I, I t- took a glance in the tear and uh, you know, uh, yeah, no, I saw a kid of that kind of description. Uh, I think he's in the tear, Tamara, tomorrow. Tear Mara. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's where we're gonna call it for another second. <laughs> okay, so after after Jetta reveals that, uh, Bottlebur is gonna say. All right, I guess I acquiesce to the intentions of Mr. Locke. There's more going on here than just rushing everyone to safety. Disan, let's see if we can get you some attention. You uh, see, make sure that you're well. And Bottle Brew is just going to try to, like, make sure everyone is okay. And, I mean, a- as a ship captain, he's very much just, like, keep people safe. He he is content to leave the supernatu- supernatural fuckery to these guys. Desan- when you go over to Desan and begin to take them kind of away, she kind of is going to, after a few feet, and they seem to be, the other people seem to be busy. Sh- uh, Bottle Brew. I did it. This is not good. This is not good at all. I, I, yes, I can see that. <laughs> I fear what will happen when more people find out that Maeve is here. I don't know how much you know of what happened. I don't know if they will run from her. I do not know if they will try to hurt her. And some of them may very well try to worship her. You need to keep her a cushion around her, you know. Make sure she does not interact with too many people. She can't. There is one specific person she cannot meet. She cannot meet. And she's gonna, like, shake you. She cannot meet Theron Fordell. She cannot. If you see a woman in all black, you steer clear from her. They cannot meet. Uh, Bottle Brew, it, John is a gape, and he's like, Okay, perhaps more than search and rescue. Ther- could you spell that name for me? It's a little unconventional. T H E R A N F A U D E L. Okay, I'm starting to see why people have trouble with my name. Okay. She shoves you against a wall and like this thing's like things got very dark on Stonehold. Uh, he's gonna like put his hand on on like the the on the hilt of his sword, like def- like ready to draw at being pushed against a wall. Things got very dark at Stoneholm. We were on our last legs, and Maeve swapped them from under us. He's he's gonna let he's gonna loosen his grip on the hilt and say, "Why did you and your people come to Feldrum? This is farmland. You don't you you don't know a thing about this place. Why in the world would you come here?" We had no other choice. There's so many of us dead. There wasn't enough to rebuild the town. We tried. We gave it a good shot, but. <sighs> We couldn't stay where so many had died. It just wasn't, it didn't make sense. People lost their minds. Theron Fordell started a cult with the intention of either killing or dying by Maeve's hand. She has made a recovery. She's doing quite well, but she is still, she is on a knife's edge. If she sees Maeve again, it could start it all over again. I'm serious. I need you to believe me on this. He fully lets go of the hilt of his sword, and he says, You know, I was just supposed to be ferrying these folks around from island to island so they could talk to gods, and everybody swept up in cults and purple storms. God, all right. Maeve! Maeve, come here! I need you to listen to me. Uh, she comes over. I don't know all the details, 
but we need to keep your presence here under wraps. Whatever is going on with the people of Stoneholm, this cloud is not the end of it. Uh, Maeve, I need you. I, I, I need you to look at me, and I need you to take me very seriously. If you see a woman... I know she's got sort of off-putting mom energy, but she's saying something very important, and I believe her. If you see a woman in all black, I need you to hide. I need you to run away, turn invisible, whatever you can do. The last thing that woman needs to see is you. For all of our sakes, please be careful. Um, okay, cool. All right, Bottle Brew is going to, like, take his hat off and, like, rub his forehead. All right, well, the Liberty is pulling away a safe distance from the aisle. Until we're sure it is safe, we cannot leave on that ship. So we need to keep you safe. And what the what the fuck else? Cult is up there on top of the tower. Does anybody have a plan? Mr. Locke wanting to stop and think? What are we doing? Well, uh, Cult said uh, find the connection between Maeve and the tower. That's what he said. Well, that's about as explicit as it gets, huh? Yeah. Uh, Dishon, where, where is Father Seawin and his acolyte going to study? And would that make a safe refuge while we get our bearings? Well, the acolyte's still around. Um, and he's not... Okay. You know, maybe not an acolyte. He's a, he's a priest of a separate order. But Father Seawin just, like, hoofed it probably back to wherever his yeah. rectory is. Because okay. seeing Maeve is maybe not the best thing for him. Yeah, um, sure, sure, sure. I mean... I can tell you guys what the connection is right now. All right. uh, When Maeve says that, you all look down upon her. Do we bring her to the thing, or is that, like, just going to compound the problem? I'm not really sure what the protocol for getting flashed by a kid is. I Nope, nope, that is not the set of words I want. <laughs> hey, Whoa, yo, hey, okay, yo. crazy. Okay, we're going to hey. take that one back. That's going in the bonus. Let's try that again. Okay, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the pro... Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, do we, do we take her to the tower, or is that going to compound the issue? I don't know what the protocol for this... All this here is. I think. I think what we do is we do. Uh, we just try to figure out what's going on. Um, Let's, uh, look, I try, Pat, Pat, are you okay? Pat's, okay? <laughs> back in. Pat's, giving, Pat's taking me down with him. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking weird. I'm, I'm sorry for the weird energy I just brought in there. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. Um, I'm trying so hard. 